This week, uh, Politico has been doing a negative story about our revolution uh, or its president, Nina Turner, or Bernie Sanders, literally every single day of the week. They have another one today. So I've already broken down two of them, I'm getting tired, <laughs> okay? So instead, I wanted to help a brother out. Now, they've been attacking our revolution, saying that they're in disarray and they're a failing organization. They had to admit in, in the midst of one of those stories that, uh, yeah, they actually win 40% of their elections. Now, what they didn't explain is context, because they're terrible at their job, uh, and apparently they don't know anything about politics. Our revolution is a new group. It started after the 2016 election. Winning 40% of your elections uh, with a new group, with candidates nobody's ever heard of that are uh, running in races where they are greatly outgunned on, on money is nearly miraculous. If you don't understand that, please, please stop being a political reporter because you're not, okay? It's deeply embarrassing. Now, uh, I got good news for Politico because I know they love to play the balance game. Republicans said this, Democrats say this, okay? The, all the world scientists say we have climate change. Republicans say that we don't. Let's go on 50-50, right? Um, and, and the list goes on and on. So except, and not so balanced when it comes to progressives. Almost never write a positive story about a progressive group. It, I challenge you to find any, okay? And so, for example, uh, the same article where they criticized our revolution for not supporting Kara Eastman, who's a, a progressive in Nebraska. Well, just Democrats supported her, we won. Was there a positive article about us? No, only negative articles in the mainstream media. They hate progressives. They're deeply biased against progressives. And so, but I'm gonna help them out. That's the whole point, right? So I'm gonna help them out in two different ways. It, so I haven't seen an article on, on the this week's elections. Remember on Tuesday, four states, Texas, uh, Georgia, Kentucky, Arkansas, big states, big elections. Well, let me show you the, that our revolution did have losses. They had five losses that night, okay? Richard Becker, Rick Trevino, also a just Democrat. That one hurt. Laura Moser, also a just Democrat. Teresa uh, Gallegos, uh, in, and then Jose uh, Chatovella, uh, all of those guys uh, lost, okay? So, by the way, the just Democrats, another progressive group, the one that I started, um, went two for five. Same batting average, 40% uh, that our revolution has been doing so far in these elections. Uh, and uh, but again, for a new group, astounding. They all were way outspent, and they won anyway. Um, so, oh right, how about the wins? Fascinating that Politico didn't write a story about it. Somebody called Politico. Hmm. Turns out there were more wins than losses. In fact, there were seven wins. Here, let's show you those. Sheikh, Sheikh Rahman. They helped a guy named Sheikh Rahman win a Georgia State Senate seat. Just note that for the record. Shelly Hutchinson, Adrian Wallace, look at these wins in Georgia and Kentucky. Lisa Ring, that's a congressional seat. Lisa Ring's also just a Democrat in Georgia. Maureen Skinner, Paul Walker, Stacey Abrams, that's a governor's seat. Look at all of these wins in the deep south. Seven wins, five losses. I did the math, that's better than 58%. Political, where are you at? Mainstream establishment press, where are you at? Look, they're not fake news. They don't go and invent stories out of whole cloth, right? On the other hand, they are deeply, deeply biased. And a lot of them don't even know it. They're like, but every article they write about a progressive group, oh, progressive group, disarray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't even win 100% of their elections. Because that's their mindset. That's the bubble they live in. They asked all their friends in Washington, we progressives, right? <laughs> progressives, they're never gonna win. Bernie Sanders, Nina Turner, they're never gonna win, right? High five, high five, everybody agrees, right? Uh, when it comes to the Democratic Party, that's the establishment. Where's all your articles about what miserable failures they are? They lost over a thousand seats in the uh, state level. Should I go over this again? The House, the Senate, the White House, the Trump, the Supreme Court, they lost everything. And they have tons of money. They spent billions of dollars in 2016. Where is your article every single day about what losers Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, the DNC, the DCCC are? Oh, no, but those are your friends. And everybody in Washington thinks, oh, I do declare the Democratic Party establishment. They're really brilliant, brilliant, really. At a bare minimum, if you're going to write hatchet jobs against their about their so-called problems, again, I disprove that. 
almost none of that was true except for one thing, which by the way, our revolution fixed today. Um, you should also write about their successes, but you're never ever gonna do that because you have not, hatred my, is, I think is the wrong word. They have disdain for progressives. They look at progressives and think, <laughs> they'll never be in power. All the people in power take corporate donor money and Sheldon Adelson money and billions of dollars in funding. Those are the people who are so smart and play three dimensional chess. Well, how come they just got their asses handed to them by an upstart group in the middle of the South this week and you never wrote about it? Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.